up, y'all? It's Lark Fit Tide, aka Lark Fitty, and I'm here to show y'all how to cook a struggle meal under ten dollars. Yes, right, for real, under ten dollars. And it's gonna be fire. Let's get it. Studio audience, Angel over here. Give it up in the back, studio audience. This is a live show. It's that time of the year where shit get a little shaky. So I'm gonna show you how to still eat good and have some shit that tastes good. I'm gonna show you how to eat some shit that tastes good without, you know, breaking the bank. So I want y'all to stay locked in. Watch how I move. So I'm gonna try to walk you through each step. I, cooking videos is the hardest videos in the world to do, so. Especially if you don't necessarily know the exact shots you're trying to get. So y'all might see a camera right here on the camera, which is not usually how this goes, but hey, this camera is here to actually take me chopping this shit up so when I explain it, y'all can actually see what I'm doing up close and personal at the same time. First things first, I always like to, I always like to turn on. See, my key, my key to actually cooking fast, because I'm probably gonna cook this in like 15 minutes, is to turn shit on. You don't turn the stove on, you ain't got no sense of urgency to rush to the pan before it gets too hot and overheat. So my, one of my cheat codes is turning shit on. I don't put it up super hot. You know what I'm saying? But it gives me a sense of urgency. That's what we're gonna do, get straight to it. So, what I'm making is a chicken rice bowl, right? Something real simple. Something real simple, real healthy. It's not bad for you. It ain't breaking the bank. So, first ingredient, we got onion. All right. Boom. Onion, I'm gonna put the price on there because that makes this video even better if I put the price on there. Now you don't have to use the whole onion. But, chop them like that. And you know, you know, I didn't learn a special place. I didn't go to a special place learn how to cook. You know what I'm I be in this one whipping though. What to do as soon as I cut each thing, I put it in. Like I said, it gives me that sense of urgency. I'm gonna do my peps next. Got Right, and some people say, ain't we saying I cook real fast. I, I, uh, I pride myself on speed in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Comment below, like how, how, how do you cook fast? Like what do you do to cook fast? Because some of y'all be taking forever. I know some people. Yeah, you, studio audience. Laugh, studio audience, laugh. All right, cut it off, cut it, cut it. Green peppers, cut the little off, a little off, a little off, a little. That whistle hit different when you can really whistle. Some of y'all can't even whistle. That's probably why you can't cook. That's what you need to be at home learning how to whistle. Whistle while you work. And we never leave food on the table, so I'm gonna throw them in there too. I ain't gonna be able to see what's in the pot until I finish putting all the stuff in the pot. Some people that say cooking healthy is like the hardest thing in the world, most expensive thing in the world. I say those people don't know how to cook. They ain't never really struggled in real life. So I'll be watching shows, they be talking about these are struggle meals. They be having coriander and shit in the goddamn. Oh, nobody got no, you ain't got no coriander. You probably got some. Chicken, ramen noodle mix. Definitely, rotisserie chicken is a cheat code. That's a whole chicken. At Costco, a whole chicken, $5. Yeah. 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 Cut it at an angle so you don't get all the, all the heads everywhere. Some of y'all just be cutting straight through it and y'all be wondering why all the little, the little leaves from the little trees be everywhere teach y'all something today, okay? I'm gonna teach y'all something real good. You see that broccoli right there? What's the kitchen with all love? There you have it. Chopped up everything. So what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna go to the seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this up, but we gonna figure it out, so let's do it. As you can see, we got our broccoli, got our red peppers, got our green peppers, got our onions, right? Literally do not like, have a measuring cup or 
it's a feeling. It's a, it's a God-given feeling. So. I'm just gonna tell y'all the ingredients. We got sea salt, right? Powder. I always gotta have a garlic powder. You know how that goes. Why is it? Why black people put garlic powder on everything? I don't know, but I feel like it's necessary. Got the paprika. You know what? I feel like I be feeling like our heritage be coming out because I love that Cajun taste in food, and I feel like that's just. What's I mean, Creole, Cajun white people, Creoles, black people. I like that Creole. I oh, got black pepper. I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit that in there. Like I said, I ain't got no measuring cup for y'all. No dobo. I like to put just a little bit of, just a little bit of that in there. What do is we're gonna stir it up real quick. I'm saying, get a little stir. Right. We already got our rice going over here on the other side. What I like to do is let the oils get on. Let the oils get on all parts of these vegetables. You know what I'm saying? You gotta all of that. In the bowl for the seasoning. Go with the sea salt, right? Put them in there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Nisi. Shout out Johnny May. A little sorbet in me, right? If you're watching this on camera right now, I'm going crazy. All right, so once we finish this, do is mix that up. All right. All right. Boom. All right, so now chicken is in the pot. Now we got everything in the pot. Now we wait. All right, y'all, and here we have it. We got the, this is, this, is, this is the struggle chicken rice, I'm gonna tell you right now. So, we got rice, we got broccoli, bell pepper, we got um, red bell pepper, um, we got brown rice, I said rice, but we got brown rice. Um, then we got chicken thighs cut up, let's see what it tastes like. Give me a good, good first bite. Like you know, that Sunday where your mama just put something together and you like, man, what was this? She like, shit we had in there. And that's what this is, you know. Ten dollar meal, five thirty nine for the chicken. And then the vegetables was already I mean the vegetables was uh, about five dollars and then we already had rice at home, so it's a ten dollar meal. Okay, so if you like this video. Definitely make sure to do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and share this. If you want us to make more ten dollar meals, because I swear I be, I'm the gourmet budget chef. I, I can make some shit that tastes like you went to a five star restaurant and it was less than twenty dollars, less than fifteen dollars. So if you like this video, definitely make sure to drop it below. Other than that, man, it's a whole lot of. Make sure to follow things we as friends, share on so all social media, all streaming platforms. Let's get it.